Halloween can be great fun with activities like pumpkin carving and party games, but what do you do if you want to try something a little bit different? This year I'm buying a whole load of Halloween themed kitchen gadgets, I'll test them out, and I'll tell you which is my favourite at the end. So they arrived in this big box, and I opened it up to take a look. The first one we're going to try out is this Gracula garlic crusher. It says any other vampire would run a mile at the sight of garlic, but not Gracula. One twist of his head and it'll crush your garlic into smithereens. <laughs> so. I opened up the box, and it slides out on this plastic tray. Unclip it, and here it is. Lift off the head and remove this little bit of packaging too. Take a closer look at the face, and you can see he's got some really cool features. A couple of little fangs, indents for eyes, and an amazing hairline. Underneath are these sort of cutting and grinding blades, which mesh with some more in the bottom. And I'll be testing it out in a minute, but first I want to show you this gadget. So this is a witch called Agatha. Double double toil and trouble, concocting a delicious potion. Agatha will hold your spoon and release the steam from your bubbling pot, turn it over, and it looks like a really fun product. So let's see how well it works. I removed it from the packaging, and it feels nice and robust. A big hunk of silicon. Unfortunately there is a join line running straight down the middle of the face, but have a look at these legs, they're really nice and flexible. So to try it out I'm taking a wooden spoon, and the witch clips straight over the handle. Haha, <laughs> a bit like a broomstick. Pretty cool, huh? It clips on perfectly, a nice snug fit. So the idea is it can clip over the edge of your saucepan like this and sit on the rim. Now I did notice you do have to have the right type of saucepan, and if you've got a saucepan like this with a very wide rim, it's not really going to work. If you try putting it on like this, it's at completely the wrong angle, so you will need to have the right type of pan. So if the witch is sitting on the spoon, you can clip it on the edge to stop it falling down in. Haha, <laughs> doesn't it look great? And as another cool feature, you can actually turn the witch around on the spoon, then sit it down on the surface as a spoon rest. I did find though, you do have to have the witch right on the very end of the spoon, otherwise it's weighted too much the wrong way. What a novel spoon rest though. So let's try out Gracula. Take a clove of garlic and peel it, then drop it into the base of the grinder, place his head back on, and give it a few twists. It twists nice and easily, and after just a few seconds, we've got this mashed up garlic. Yeah, I'd say that's worked really well. I'm adding it into this sauce, and unlike some gadgets, this one is really easy to clean. And of course you can use your wooden spoon to mix it in, and the witch to hold it. You can even leave the witch sat on while you stir it, then just clip it back to the side of the pan. Apparently you can also use the witch as a lid holder to allow steam to gently escape from your pan. I think you're supposed to tuck it up under the hat to grip it. But I found with my pan lids they were a bit too wide, so they just slid down the witch's cloak. So it didn't really work very well. It would be better if the cloak kind of hooked up a bit at the end to catch the lid. Or maybe it grips better if it's riding the wooden spoon. You can hook it over the hat, but it leaves the lid far too wide open. Next I want to show you these. It's a five piece set of wooden kitchen utensils with these burnt on pictures from Nightmare Before Christmas. We've got this Jack Skeleton which is really cool, and they do seem to be good quality. I think they're actually made out of bamboo. We got these different styles, so of course you could use them for cooking at Halloween, or maybe as decorations in your kitchen. But now I'm going to try out this utensil. It's a pizza cutting axe. The sharp bit of the blade up here is actually a pizza cutting wheel, and if you're having a Halloween party it could be a really fun way to serve up your food. Place a couple of pizzas onto chopping boards, and let your guests use the axe to chop the pizzas up into slices. Oh yeah, I definitely say it's really satisfying to use. It does work well. And next I'm going to take a look at this gadget. Open it up, and it's called Vino, corkscrew and bottle opener. It's a really cool Halloween bat bottle opener. So I took it out of the packaging, and it's got these sort of concertina silicon wings. What a great idea. Move these arms up and down, and it opens up the wing span. And I love how the bit you twist at the top has got these bat ears. So let's test it out with a bottle of wine. First I used the corkscrew to cut around, and pulled off the top, then screwed it down into the cork. As you do it, it raises up the arms, then pull them down to extract the cork, and I'm just pulling out the last bit. Huh, what a cool gadget. And after you've poured yourself some, what you can do is unscrew the cork and screw it back on upside down so that you can easily push it back into the neck of the bottle so that you can keep your drink fresh and display the bat. You can also use the head as a bottle opener to remove metal caps, and I'm testing it out on one of these bottles of coke. What a great opener to have at a Halloween party. But next I want to show you what's inside here. Open up the box, and we've got this metal skull. <laughs> that looks so cool, and it's really solid. You can see it's got these screw holes here at the top and the bottom, and it comes with a couple of screws and raw plugs. So it's actually a bottle opener, and we need to fix it to the wall. I'm actually screwing it to this piece of wood, and we don't need raw plugs, so I can screw it straight into the wood. Once you've done the top, fix it to the bottom as well. You need it to be nice and solid. Then it's ready to use. 
Huh, how cool is that? If you want to support this channel, you can click on the store tab to browse my shop. There'll be more merchandise coming soon. And there's affiliate links in the description if you want to buy anything from this video. And next we're going to take a look in here. Well, first of all we get this lid of a pumpkin, and there's the rest. It's this really cool pumpkin shaped cup. I really like the size and shape, and what an amazing vibrant colour. But before we use it, I'm also going to open this box. And inside here we've got a really cool stainless steel set of novelty cutlery. They're individually wrapped to keep them clean and stop them scratching against each other. And the first one I opened is this really cute little pitchfork. It would be great for eating a nice Halloween dessert or something. We also get this gardener's spade teaspoon and also a shovel. And instead of using this pumpkin cup for a hot drink, I'm filling it up with a nice soup. Serve it with a lid on to keep it hot and use one of the gardener's spades. What a creative way to serve something for Halloween. And I also want to show you this item which is similar. Open up the box and the first thing we get to is this china witch's broomstick spoon. Oh, that's pretty cool. And underneath is this witch's cauldron. Oh, how sweet is that? I love the little stubby legs underneath and the handles on the side. After I washed it out, I'm filling up this one with pumpkin and butternut squash soup, place the lid back on to keep it hot, and the broomstick can slide down inside one of the handles to hold it. I'm serving it on a board with a piece of bread. This would be so cool for Halloween, and I guess you could put all sorts of things inside. What broth would you use? You can let me know in the comments. And I love the little spoon. You can also buy a matching mug and teapot. So the mug is pretty much the same cauldron shape. It doesn't come with a lid because it doesn't really need one. And the handle's like on a conventional mug so it's easy to pick up. Now let's take a look at the teapot. It's a really nice thing. It is a shame it's not a little bit bigger, but it definitely completes the set. Perfect for a nice cup of tea on Halloween. Or if you're not really a tea drinker, you could fill it up with a hot chocolate. I'm warming some up in a pan, then pouring it in. This mug is really big, but if you were using a couple of smaller ones, I think you'd probably have just about enough for two smaller cups from this teapot. And why not add some marshmallows? I'm also serving mine with a nice piece of sticky chocolate cake, and one of these shovels alongside. These are really quite big, but they're perfect for stirring in your marshmallows, or taking a nice big shovel full of cake. And if you like chocolate, here's another really cool Halloween product. A pack of two silicon Halloween moulds. This one's all about pumpkins, and this one's got some other designs too. So you could use them in all sorts of ways. Maybe fill them up with melted chocolate and hand them out at a party. I'm actually using fondant icing because it's nice and colourful, and you can use some extra colours afterwards to customise your design. You could use these moulds to make Halloween ice cubes, or with Play-Doh, or they're even oven safe, so you can use them for baking little cakes or cookies. And once my icing had taken it a shape, I popped them back out of the moulds and added some extra detail. Stars on this witch's hat eyes for the ghost, and a mouth, and some various other bits. And there we go, don't they look great? You could use them to decorate a Halloween cake, or maybe on cookies. And if you like pumpkin carving and want to see some really amazing designs and find out how to make them, I definitely recommend you click on this video. It's full of so many ideas, and my favourite from this video has to be the witch's broth cauldron. What a great way to serve some food at a Halloween party. Thanks for watching.